Welcome to Hoopty's Garage, the dumbest on road channel in all of no, YouTube. And I have bought no, a real here. no, no. It is not a dumb channel, and this is the Car Wizard channel. Yes, people come here to avoid me because I'm very annoying and you're soothing <laughs> like Bob Ross of guess. the auto mechanics. I yes. guess. Yes. So I'll quit being annoying. Um, so this is a 2005 Jetta, and we're going to take a look at it. Let's get started. Is this the nice one at least with the, the turbo? Mm, no, this is the 2.5. Oh, well, I mean, they're okay. Some people really like the 2.5s. It's like half of a Audi V10. Yeah, I suppose, it's just not very exciting. No, not really. We can close it for now. <laughs> now that we got all that sorted out, this car is here for two reasons. There's an oil leak and there's also a window problem. First, we're gonna take a look at the oil leak, then we'll look around the car, look at the interior, then we'll talk about the crazy window problem. Put the hood back down. Hey, you want me to, you, you invite me to be in these videos and everybody hates it in the comments section, but you keep inviting me back, so. It's fun to do a video with you. Okay, all right, well, it's an oil leak. These have the yellow headlights like they always do. Yes. Um, what else is wrong with it? It's got some breakage there. It's got an oil leak under the hood. We are going to open the hood here in a minute. I guess we can open it now. Thank you. Okay. Okay. So the customer's complaining about an oil leak and he's looked all over the place and he can't find it. He's like, I'm just going to bring it to you. I'm tired of trying to find this leak. He's cleaned it and cleaned it and he can't locate it. He's looked underneath. And I already knew what it was when it came in here. It's a vacuum pump cover. Let's take a look and show you guys what it looks like. And it is indeed the vacuum pump cover. Is he a car collector? No. He has a battery tender like he has a collection of cars. The guy's a truck driver and this sits a lot. Ah, oh, I see. Well, that explains the little the rodent damage mm -hmm. on it. Yes. Let's take a look. That's the rodent. Yeah. Well, luckily, they didn't chew into the pipe yet. Mm. So underneath all these hoses, there's a cover. This is the cover that goes there. You can see the Volkswagen Audi symbol on it. Let me pry this out of the way. You can see a little pump. It's like a vein in there, and there's a red colored seal. That seal has gone bad. It's completely flat. It doesn't seal anything anymore, and the oil that lubricates the vacuum pump just pours all over the place. It's not a difficult fix. It's actually very cheap. We'll get this put back together with a new seal on it, and he'll be in this pretty cheaply. The rest of the engine is in good shape. It runs good. It drives good. He doesn't have any other complaints. He just really was upset about the oil leaking all over the place and he wanted it fixed. This looks familiar. Yeah, that's the exact one we use in Apollo 911. Yes, you fitted this uh, cool expansion tank because it was the perfect, well, small size mm -hmm. on my LS swap. Yes, it's still in there. It is still in there. And we will continue to use it because it works great. It does work well. Yeah. All right. Let's take a look around the car and see if it's beat up or not. There's some rust bubbles. Yeah. Patina. I get some AutoZone spray paint and ch -ch -ch. patina. That'll be good to go. Patina, huh? That is patina. There's some more patina down here. Yep. Right at the, behind the flap there, the mud flap. Yeah, when we met, you bought that 240D that was all rusted, kind of like that. Yes, it was. And you fixed it with Rhino Liner, right? Yeah, I put a strip along the bottom. The Basically, entire... made it kind of two-tone almost on a 123 Mercedes, and uh, he was very proud of his work there. And I think the internet was somewhat cringing on that. But yeah. I mean, at the time, that's what I could do. That's all well, I could do. They weren't worth anything back then. No, so. now they are. Yeah, now they certainly are. Yes. Let's move on back here. I'm not going to push on it, but there's rust bubbles all along that rocker molding. You can kind of see it looks like a, a mountainous terrain there. The perils of living on a dirt road. Huh? Yes, they live on the same dirt road that we do. Yes. You're driving Levantes down a dirt road. Yes, but we only do it when it's dry and nice out. Oh, sure. <laughs> and we do. Let's move back here. Obviously, there's not going to be any rust because that's plastic. Luckily, move around to the back. Yeah, 2.5. Base, base. There's some little bit of scratches there, nothing too bad. This is a 
base 2.5. It doesn't even have any trim badge on it. So. No. Well, they have GLS and TDI and all the different trim levels. This one's just called 2.5. That's all it's called, the 2.5 model. Mm -hmm. And not much going on in this corner. Is there any more rust? Rust barnacles down there. there oh, is, though, yeah. down right down through there. I am seeing one redeeming feature though. What's that? It's inside. What's inside? It shakes your hand. It shakes your hand. Yes. It's a manual. Oh yeah. It is a manual. That's right. So it looks like the steering wheel's got a cover over it. It's probably pretty rough. This one's got mm -hmm. like 148,000 miles on it. There's a nice note for yeah. us. Do not use park brake. It will not release. Don't do it. Don't. Okay. So we're not going to. No. We don't want to have to try and release Ooh. it. Ooh. It looks like it's been boiled or it something. Has cysts, yes. <laughs> nice. <laughs> it's pretty bad. Ew. I don't even want to touch the buttons. <laughs> yeah. yeah. Hmm. The dash is okay, but the radio is definitely not. Right. But you said he's a truck driver? Yeah. So that explains the five speed. He likes rowing his gears. Yep. He's so a, that's uh, unusual. Definitely a gear rower. The headliner is pretty bad back here. I can reach my hand up in it. Here, so maybe our hands can touch under the headliner. We feel, yep, there they are. There they are. Hi! Oh, yes, we're fingering. <laughs> okay. There we go. Headliner could definitely stand to be redone. I don't think this guy drives it a lot. I don't think he cares about that, though. Mm. So the interior is not terrible, but it's not great either. There's a lot of little things. It's got the cysts on the radio and yeah. And all you're fixing is the oil leak. Is there oil leak, and then there's a door module. Actually, on the door you're on. Let's go over to that door. So this power window right here on the front passenger side does not work. He's actually had a used module put in it. That the motor. It's actually got an electric module and a motor all in one unit in here. Sounds German. Yeah. Sounds very German. Yes. It actually has to be programmed when you replace the window really? motor. Wow. And he's pretty sure it should work. So we connected the scan tool to it and it's having electrical error in the module itself and we clear the codes, it comes back immediately. There's something wrong with the used module he put in it. Mm -hmm. So we're not gonna be able to do much for him when we got him the quote on it. Mm hmm Almost a thousand dollars. Ah, thousand dollars for a window motor for on a jetta yeah are you crazy no i like basically my whole corvette's getting fixed for a thousand dollars yeah it's like four or five hundred bucks just for the sorry the i motor. didn't mean to like yeah but <laughs> that's 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 stupid it is stupid that's, that's why he's not fixing it okay obviously yes no no i actually when i called him i fully anticipated said, i know you're not going to fix it because i wouldn't even pay that kind of money to fix it on this car i wouldn't do that that's that's so. terrible you got the labor and you got to reprogram the module and also the cost of the module. That's that's so stupid. It is. It's really dumb. Volkswagen. Really? Why would you need to program really? a window motor? That's it's insane. It's dumb. Okay. Well. So we got that out of the way. We're not going to be fixing that because it's too high and I don't blame him again. Let's go ahead and lift this thing up and look underneath. Looks like a Harlequin set of rags down here. Oh, they do mix match colors. Oh, like the Volkswagen Harlequin, yes. Yeah. Did that come out of the car? No, this quarter did though. Oh. I don't know where that came from. 1989. There's a free quarter. Taylor Swift. Taylor Swift, yeah, 1989. Mm -hmm. Yes. We can see a bunch of oil right here already. Oh my. This is all from that vacuum pump gasket we just showed you guys. It's completely coated under here. Wish it started sooner, it would have started rust proofing this car. See what it tastes like here. Yep, motor oil. Obviously. <laughs> yes. <laughs> yeah. CV boots look good there and there. Let me check this wheel. It's good. Brakes are good. You can tell it doesn't get driven much. There's a lot of rust even on the rotors. Mm. Mm, and there's nothing else really leaking, it was just that one thing. I can tell his exhaust has broken before. You see the welds on that square plate? Oh. It's had to be re-welded again. 
Ooh, ew. Yeah. Don't don't turn those bolts. They won't. They won't turn. That's, that's getting cut off if it ever comes off, yes. Yep. Yes. Move on back. Pretty rusty. Yeah, we're making fun of the rust, but if this were like a 1990 Ford Escort going on a dirt road since in 15 years, it would just be dust by now. Mm hmm. So there is some quality here. It makes sense why I said not to do the. Uh, the parking brake, because it's probably all rusted oh, on the side yeah. of the cables. Yeah. Brakes look good there. Nothing loose there. Ooh. Look at those sway bar bushings. They're still good, though, amazingly. Oh, I don't think he's... I don't think he's too concerned Going with that. down the Nürburgring or... No. Audubon. And this sucker. Not a whole lot wrong, but... It, Look how Volkswagen, they grooved this like a golf ball. It does. It's probably for airflow or something. It's got wiffles on it. Wiffles, that's what it is, yes. Wiffle ball. Wiffles. I guess this is where another exhaust could go if it had one. Where's is the exhaust? Wait, yeah, it should be there. What? Uh, <laughs> we lost it somewhere. Where did it go? Um, there it is. Ah, it ends. Yes. Oh, my. So. Okay, that, there should be exhaust there. It has the muffler, but just the hole. So it's, it's just, just a, a it's just a butthole. Basically. <laughs> is it is it clean in there? Wizard. Yeah. Gross. So that rusted off. Yeah, that's gone. No wonder this is a big over, open cavernous hole here. Okie dokie. Well, Kansas is not an emission state, where we get away with lots. We try and film here at your shop, and people drive by in their trucks with no mufflers all the time, <laughs> just constantly. Yep. Um, another example of that, I suppose. I suppose so. Yes. Let's go ahead and get this thing back on the ground. Yeah, I think in order to live in Harvey County, you just have to cut your muffler off, right? It seems that way. It's like the rite of passage, like circumcision or whatever. If you're, right. You're, uh, never mind. Okay. Yeah. <laughs> but anyways, you could get a chair and sit here with the the garage door open, and every other car would be blah. And yes. it goes by. It's pretty bad. Well, you've done a Volkswagen buy this, not that, and mm -hmm. this was this on the bad list or the good list? Uh, this was on. I don't know that it was on the bad list, but I recommended that they buy the generation before this. Really? Yeah, especially with the TDI. Yeah. Well, obviously. Yeah. Yes, those are super annoying. But very, very this good cars. I mean, they're and okay. They're okay. They're not horrible, but they're not great either. Back in your dealership days, did you sell many Jettas and things? It was mostly the generation before. This was still too new, honestly. Right, was, this, this hadn't really... It was out, but it wasn't to be on a used car lot right, yet. Right, this yeah. was still something that was over $10,000, and I was mostly a hoopty man. I had... I, there's one, I remember, a nice one I took on trade one time, but there was the Volkswagen dealership right down the road. It's uh, Mike, Steve, and he'd stand up there and say, we got a row of 30 Jettas for ninety nine ninety five, and And that was his commercial. It was Beatles and Jettas and all that. Just basically this generation. Mm -hmm. And uh, a friend of mine actually bought one of those and had a repo three months later. He, yeah. <laughs> wow, repoed. Huh? He had a cow with it, though. He had a cow with he it? He hit a cow. And then got it repoed. Correct. Wow. The cow rolled up onto the windshield, shattered the windshield, <laughs> and then he drove it like that for months until it got repoed. He'd get pulled over about once a week and he would say, oh, well, it just happened. I'm waiting for the insurance money to fix it. The truth is he hadn't paid his insurance, so he wasn't getting any money. Wow. And then he just quit paying on the car and they just, they just took it away. <laughs> oh, that's horrible. <laughs> I wonder when the, the car showed up in a, in a mess like it was, I wonder if they spit their water out all over. Oh, probably. Well, it didn't matter. It's a finance company. Yeah, I think he's still paying on that to this day. Oh, my goodness. Kids, when you give the car back to the bank, it's not like it goes away. You have to keep paying. You'll sell it off at auction. Mm -hmm. And if it gets $2,000 and you owe ten, you're still on the hook for eight. So don't do that. No, don't no, do that. Don't. That's bad, bad business. Yes. So we'll get this oil leak fixed and taken care of. That will solve his drama with the oil leaks. We will not get the door fixed, the window, because like the customer said, it's too much, and I agree with him. I wouldn't fix it either on this Insane. car. That's too much money. And really, there's not a whole lot else to fix on it. We'll just get this taken care of, get it out the door, and he can park it again and drive it once or twice a year or however long. <laughs> you all right? Yeah, I'm fine. Yes. Okay. <laughs> all right. Well, there's his charger. I told you. That's why I wanted to use a car collector. No, he's like not a collector. Vintage Jettas. 
if you're curious what kind of tools we're have fun there. <laughs> no. So if you're curious what kind of tools we use on the Amazon wish list linked below, you can buy those. There's also merch you can buy, and please subscribe to the Car Wizards channel because he gets more subs than me nowadays per month. You're actually growing faster than me. Yes, at the moment. I kind of stabilized as I keep doing the same crap over and over again. Yay, that's good. <laughs> no, it's not. You know, <laughs> you want me to do well. Yeah, I guess I do. Subscribe to Hoovy's Garage too. While yeah, you're make yeah, sure you of, do that too. I'm kind of on live support at this point with Lambos and everything else. Mm. Just don't spit any more water out. All right, thanks for watching. Am I spray the other side of you? No, that's okay. <laughs>